Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com and I'm here today bringing your fifth Java tutorial. In this tutorial today we're looking at methods, showing you guys how to code a method, how to call a method, and also talk about um, why methods are useful and you're going to want to know them to use them in your programming. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is create a new project. So we can go up to File and Eclipse here, go New and Java Project, and we can choose a project name just hit finish. Now we've got our little project here. We can click the arrow next to it and then on the source area here we're going to create a class file. So we're going to right click on source, go new and class. Like I said in previous tutorials you always need to have all of your Java code inside a class file so that's what we're creating right now. You can leave the package um, blank here. I'll use a default one but you do need to fill out a name here. So just put tutorial 5 and then go ahead and uncheck this box here and click finish. Alright, so what that's done first here is created, created a um, class file for us as well as our main class declaration here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get a couple enters here and we're, create our, uh, we're going to create our main method. We've talked about this in other tutorials so you probably remember this. So public static void main and then string, oops, args, and then we're going to do two brackets and bring that down. All right, so we have our class file here, and inside our class file, we've created our main method. And like I said before, this is where Java goes to start running your program. The first place it looks for your code is right within this main method. Now, to create additional methods inside your program, um, all your methods have to be inside of the class file but you can't have one method inside of another. So we're actually gonna go outside of this main method but still in our class file here and that's where we're gonna create additional methods. So what a method does is it gives you a portion of code, an area where you can write a portion of code that you can use over and over again. So it's really helpful to, for one, make your code a little bit easier to read. That way you don't have you know duplicate code all over the place and it also makes it a lot easier on you as a programmer that way when you need to do the same thing multiple times in your program you don't have to write the same code out over and over again or copy and paste it things like that so for example today what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that we have some type of like test out there that we're giving our user and what we want to do is every time they get a right answer or a wrong answer we want to be able to display on the screen you know like correct great job or that's incorrect try again something like that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the method that is going to um, display our code if they get something right. So here we're going to do public static void and we're going to call this method um, correct. And we'll just do two um, parentheses there um, and then our open and close bracket. So what we have here is we've created a, a method and, and don't worry still about this public static void stuff. Um, It'll be a couple tutorials yet before we really get into what this is and what that means. So for now, just, just worry about writing it down, but um, you don't have to worry about really what it means. The main thing you need to worry about here is the name of the method. So this method is named correct. Just like this one is named main, this is named correct. That's the name of our method. It's going to be important later when we go to run the code within this method. So we've created our open and closing braces here so everything inside this right here is going to be within the correct method so what we're going to do is we're going to display type out a code that will display a message on the screen whenever we ask it to run the correct method so do system dot out dot print um, open and close parentheses erase that r0 and we'll do our double quotes here because um, everything we're going to display out to our user, a string of text, needs to be within that double quotes. And we're going to type correct. And we'll do great job. All right, and then we'll add our semicolon there. All right, so we've created our correct method that's going to display correct, great job whenever we ask the program to run it. So let's go ahead and create our next method. It's going to be our incorrect method. So do public static void incorrect. Kind of the same uh, setup here. And we'll tell it system.out.print. 
and we'll do incorrect. Oops, can't type today. Try again. There we go. So now we've got our correct method and our incorrect method. So you may be thinking, oops, forgot a semicolon. There we go. All right, you may be thinking that if we run this now, what's going to happen is that it's going to display both of these um, on the screen because, you know, the program goes line by line, reads all the code, and that's what's going to happen. It's going to display on the screen. Well, let's go ahead and run it and see if that's what happens. That's what we want to run. Hit OK. And we're looking down here. We're not getting any results. We're like, what the heck's going on? So what's happening here is, like I said before, whenever your program runs, it first looks in this main method, and it runs everything within this main method. Um, anything outside this main method, it's only going to run if we if we uh, specifically tell it to. So in here, we don't have anything written in here. So it goes in here. It says, hey, there's nothing here, so I don't have to do anything. So what we have to do in here is actually have to uh, what's called call our method. We have to tell it, hey, I want you to run this method. So we can go ahead and do that here. And just to do that, all we do is we write the name of the method and then put our open and closing parentheses with the semicolon. So what we're telling it now, oops, spell that wrong. All right, so we're telling our program now is when you, when you run, we want you to look for this method, which is right here, and we want you to run whatever's inside of it. So let's go ahead and test and let's see if this works. Hit OK. All right, there we go. So we get correct, great job. So we told it to run this correct method, and as we can see right here, because of the uh, message we got down here, that that's worked. So let's go ahead and add our incorrect method, and let's see if that works too. Run this again. OK, and it did. So we got correct, great job, and we got incorrect, try again. Now what you'll notice here is that there's no space in between here, there's no um, there's not another line, and so that's really hard to read. So we want to fix that. Now the reason it does this is Java is a language that is white space indifferent. That means, yeah, even though we've got a whole line worth of white space here, it doesn't read that as, as white space. It's not saying, hey, okay, we got a line here, we need to go ahead and move down a line. That's what our user wants us to do. It doesn't. It just says, okay, this is where my code's at, I'm going to run that. I'm going to go to the next piece of code and I'm going to run that. I don't care about all these white spaces in here. So we have to tell our program to go to the next line. Now there's two ways that we can do that. The one way we can do that is we can add an ln for our print function here. So if we just write print, it says, hey, print out whatever I've got within these um, parentheses, print that on the on screen, and then just wait. Put your cursor right after the last thing right here would be an exclamation point and wait to do something else. And then it goes to the next one and it says, okay, start typing this out. By adding this line in here, what it's telling it to do is it's telling it to print this out and then skip down to the next line once you're done printing whatever is within these parentheses. So now the cursor's on the next line and it's ready to take in whatever we've got. So now that we've added that, let's test again and let's see what happens. And as you can see, because we've added that L in there and print line, um, it went ahead and went to the next line before it typed out our code. Now that's one way that we can do this. The other way we can do this is by adding a line break. Or a, I really, it's a new line character. So what you can do is you can do a backslash and a letter in. So what the backslash does is called an escape character. Um, it says, tells Java, hey, whenever you see this backslash here, I don't want you to actually print out what's after the backslash. I want you to do whatever the backslash, or whatever the character of the backslash means. And Java knows that when we have a, a, it, the letter N after backslash, it wants us, it, it knows we want it to move down to the next line. So we went and took out the print line function here. So if this works right, then we still, still should get the same result. They should have this on two separate lines. So let's run it and see. There we go, it looks exactly the same. So we've done that right. So that backslash in worked for us. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Showed you guys how to create a method as well as how to call the method. Um, we also looked at the difference between the dot print function and the dot print line. And also talked about escape characters and the new line character. So stay tuned for my next tutorial. If you guys like the video, make sure to 